So one thing I'm seeing in the industry is solar roofs and how they're changing. I'm here with Frank from Certainty. Yes, sir. Hey, how's it going, Good to man? see you again. Good to yeah. see you. We're looking at two solar roof products here. Yep. And I want to start with this one. This is sure. a Solstice shingle. Yes, sir. Traditionally, and over, especially over the last decade, solar has been these panels that are installed either on top of an existing roof or even integrated in, 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 in a new roof somehow, but they're bulky and they're big. Yep. While it's not a, a seamless or what you would consider a luxury solar roof, still a sleek Oh, looking, for sure. Looking product. So walk me through what we have here. And not only do we have the contractor in mind too for the ease of installation with this product, but it's really the homeowner focus is what we are trying to go to market with. So you go through these neighborhoods, there's the big bulky rack and panels on. Yeah. Doesn't look the best. So what we wanted to do was integrate our solar panels with the actual asphalt shingles themselves. Got it. So we kind of have it cut away. We have our Grace Underlayment here, sure. which is our preference to use. And then that goes directly into the install for the contractor, integrated directly into the asphalt shingles. And they, these shingles lay right on top. So the waterproofing, you're protected underneath with not only Grace, but you're also protected with the shingle on top. When you look at it from the street, you just see that sleek appearance that's integrated directly with the, sh with the roof. So it's a shingle in itself that just offers the benefits for the solar part too. So from an install perspective, I know in a lot of like some of the, the high-end products yep. that are out there in terms of solar shingle roofs and things like that, they require a certain installer and, and, and frankly like, Myself personally, I've actually struggled with that where we had a project that was supposed to be moving forward, got canceled due to- A lot the, of people do. Yeah, due to the fact that we couldn't get installers. Yep. So is this something that you're required to install with you know, certainty or how does that work? Yeah, so we prefer obviously that you use our products. Uh, you don't need to use a certainty roof. We do ask that the shingle be a certain quality. So if you have a 10 year roof, you're More talking about from a material perspective. Material, strictly yeah. material perspective. Yeah. You're not going to put a solar system on a 10-year-old, 15-year-old roof because you're going to have to replace that roof. So maybe a five-year or low or uh, yeah. earlier roof, you could put these right on top. It's probably best to just do it with a fresh install, like sure. a re-roof roof. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I was saying before. But in terms of labor, like we're talking about material, but in terms of labor, mm -hmm. who, who's installing these panels? A contractor, general roofing contractor. You don't need any expertise. So you don't need to be a, a solar yeah. installer. And that's, you, that's the struggle is like you're waiting on these install teams. Yeah. And, and frankly, not every like, sure you can get training, but it's, it's, it's a long list and, and, and you're taking forever. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. No, these are geared exactly to what you said, to the asphalt roofing shingle contractor. That's who our target audience is. That's the best installer for this product because not only are they going to be installing the shingles themselves, they'll install the solar panels too. So it's pretty simple to, to install. A couple screws goes right to the roof deck. Yep. These are all snap and lock. Each one of these is 70 watts. So we have a, a platform, it's called Aurora. So you go in, you plug in the address, get a couple utility bills, and that system will, will tell the contractor and the homeowner as well, hey, I need X amount of roofing, uh, Solstice One shingles yeah. per roof install. It'll position it exactly on the roof. So all the contractor is doing is going up, taking that floor plan and just saying, okay, I need to put this one here. I need to put this one here. These just snap lock all of the connections, male to female, like I was saying, underneath the attic. Yeah. So you're not seeing any of those wires. So when you say male to female underneath the attic, yep. is each one of them penetrating through the attic or is it daisy chained and then penetrate once? Correct, yep, yeah. yep. That's smart. So yeah. it's all, all of them are just connected underneath. Yeah. Uh, I wanna say it's about four of them per connection yep. for, for systems. And all the contractor needs to do is have somebody come out that's a certified electrician. They take those connections that the contractor did and just put it right to the breaker box and they can walk away. So I'm gonna make the assumption that this is probably more expensive than a traditional solar panel, but less expensive than maybe something like the- Correct, yeah. yeah, so if you're looking at like a good, better, best offering, yeah. we still do offer the Solstice, the rack and panels, the sure. traditional, that's our entry level. Yep. Then we have the Solstice shingle, good, better, best, that's better. Then we walk over here to our newest acquisition in Sun Style. Yeah. So this is a- This was an acquisition for certainty. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Swiss-based company. So this is called Sun Style. Yeah. So it's a 100 watt system versus the 70 watt system over here. And, and, and let me just say, I think the display is it's rather deceiving because the panels are so large, but this is a, a fantastic picture here where yeah, the, you actually see a beautiful, I mean, 
take away the mountains in the background. You're still talking about a beautiful roof it, right it, there. It yeah, is. just only yeah, go. Yeah. Visualize it. <laughs> there there. That's go. all we need. So what, what are we looking at here? It, like, and, and I'm going to make an assumption. I want you to correct me. But you have these, and you're basically covering the entire roof with these panels. Yep. And anytime you get in a situation where you have to cut or end the roof, you're using these black fill panels? Correct. Yep. Okay. So then that, these are, all, like I said, similar to the solstice shingle all fully integrated into the roof. So yeah. these are the only thing that you're gonna see on the roof. We're not gonna have asphalt shingles or anything yeah. like that. So this is all integrated with the sun style. That pattern that you see there, we have it all around the entire roof, sure. all full coverage. And from a performance perspective, these probably perform higher than those? Yeah. This is the best performing product that right. we have, the most expensive one that we have as well, but you pay for what you get, right? Sure. So A question I know will come up, and I keep touching it, I keep no, watching. It's all, no, I'm doing keep, the same I'm thing. I'm watching yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. Windex it every yeah, few minutes. Get out of here. It's like, wipe but it off. I know a question we're gonna get. Do they come in different sizes? So these are all standard. Yeah. Um, said the, the when you go through Aurora yeah. and plug that in, it'll tell you which ones are active and which ones are not. So sure. some of these are just fake cells that yep. aren't actually producing back to the grid. Got it. So that's, it's all still going to be this product itself yeah. though. Yes. But from a sizing perspective, this is the scale that they come in. Yep, this which, is the scale. Which yep. I think is important to note because here, like on the display, you can see how large they are. In that picture, they look beautiful, but you're talking about a larger building. Yeah. Where this might not be a best fit for a smaller residential home. Yeah. Which brings us back uh, to the solstice shingle. And it's all about the neighborhood, right? You're probably not going to be putting this on a, a residential neighborhood. I mean, look, that's on the side of a mountain somewhere. It looks beautiful. Right. You kind of want that luxury. Scale. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. But when you're going through your typical you know, neighborhood in, in small town America, wherever you might be, you're gonna see more of these integrated actual shingle yeah. systems or your traditional rack and panel, but. And, and, and truthfully, you know, I I know certainty by the, the landmark asphalt architecture shingles. That's Bread our, and butter. Yeah, that's our go-to. And yep. I think you said that you get new colors this year? Yeah, we just launched a couple new colors. So Why don't we head over there? Yeah, let's do it. What drives those color changes? First and foremost, quality. That's yeah. our biggest thing. We've always sold on quality. We will always be focused on quality. And then next is, Customer satisfaction, right? When you look at the details and you and you look at what customers truly want, they want more browns. Now they want more black. How trendy is black right now? Right you now. see black siding, right. brown side. How all black of that. can I get that? Exactly yeah. right. Matte black, is yeah. it flat? Whatever it might right. be. So we kind of played off of that and we listened to what our customers truly yeah. wanted. And we launched this color over here. It's called Landmark Pro uh, Max F Espresso. Yep. Kind of the play off the coffee beans and, yeah. and that type of brown. Yeah. It's very vibrant. So when this gets on a roof, yeah. it looks very dark here in the sunlight it can be gray at times and then sure. towards you know dusk and whatnot it gets back down to that true rich like yeah. earth tony brown so for us tr like truthfully we do a lot of like luxury roof product and this would you know i would relate this more to like a mid-level or like similar to the solstice shingle like absolutely a, a yep. mid-level great product when anytime we're dealing with an architectural asphalt shingle our the architect's always specking that landmark it, it's like their go-to industry the, standard the, the one question i have and i think that a lot of people struggle with is when they are introducing new colors or they're discontinuing old colors it's that you know when you're when you're what is the consideration for when someone needs to patch a roof and i know there's a life expectancy right yep. 20 years 30 years yep. 50 years depending on the product correct but what how does that come into the consideration when you when you are introducing and exiting colors? Landmark Pro Evergreen, that's our newest yeah. color for this year. That color moved from Landmark Hunter Green, a historical color had been around sure. for decades. Now we moved it to Landmark Pro Evergreen. Yeah. Similar color, more vibrant now. It's that Max Def blend, so you're gonna get those pops on the roof. But to your point, what happens when we have a customer that did an install, say two years ago, yeah. or maybe it was a shed and now they want to match whatever it might be. So we do, we sit on some of this inventory to do those jobs so you yeah. can reach out to your local territory manager, local distribution, sure. and see if they have any in inventory. And if they don't, you'll have to work with that same contractor, that same TM that you might've talked to before yeah. and see if we can get you a discount on the newest color. Right, while you're talking, I. I I'm catching a glimpse of this product out of the corner of my eye. Sure. What is this material? Yeah, so this is our newest siding uh, product. It's called Rise. This is the, the white. This is in seven inch exposure okay. right here. So this is actually made of 94% recycled content. And it's cool because we're taking products from the automotive industry, from the carpet industry, and actually our own fiberglass from CertainTeed. And we're recycling that. 94% of this is recycled content. So to the consumer that's concerned about sustainability and or you know, lead points or things exactly like that, all yeah. of that and that's all available right through this product available in 10 different colors so it's not just white yeah. uh, and we're very excited about that this show 
we're, we're getting a lot on the solar and we're also getting a lot on the recycled. No, I think it's great. I think the industry as a whole looks to composite type clapboard siding. Yep. And you have so many of op options and people are constantly coming out with new product. Truthfully, I don't hear a lot about recycled content when that, that conversation comes up. So 94%, that's really, you know. Yeah, that's pretty high. Im impressive. I said that we don't use a ton of uh, asphalt architectural shingle, but what I do use a ton of is your roof underlayment. Oh yeah. So. When I tell my guys to go grab grace ice and water, it's a general term and to them, there's one product. And I'm looking at eight products sitting up here. I'd love to understand what's the yeah. difference. About two years ago, Certainty acquired GCP. Yeah. We're now the biggest supplier, roofing manufacturing company of underlayments and what does with that, that acquisition. What is that, when you say the biggest supplier, like from so, product perspective, offerings? From, from product perspective, from distribution perspective, uh, we make the most of this uh, underlayment. We are the, yeah. the biggest in the world as far as output of underlayment. Hey, Grace Select, Grace Ice Water, Grace Ice Water HT, Grace Ultra. I've seen these two, I've never seen those two. Like and what's the difference between these two? The actual properties of each are the same. Really where you're gonna see the difference is this is 25 mil and this is 45 or 40 mil. Got it. So that's the biggest difference. So we have a thinner so material. That's all it is. It's less, you yep. know, it's less vulnerable. You Correct. Know, through construction, this is thicker. Yep. It, you know, from a cost perspective, are we talking about double the cost for this? Yeah, this is about half the price as, as what uh, ice water would and be. And then my understanding is the Winter Guard sand is very similar to the Select. It just has that granular surface. Correct. To it. More of a grippy. Yep, that's right. all it is. It's, um, it's really the main difference between the two. So working our way down, I, I'm understanding yep. good, better, best. Yep. And then you have the ultra, super high temp for like copper roofs, zinc, zinc coated exactly roofs, right. things like that. So, and then the diamond deck and the roof runner, are we talking kind of similar characteristics in terms of probably a thinner mill, heavier exact, mill? Yep, correct. And this is really a replacement for say like a tar paper. It's the, yep, yeah. exactly right. It's kind of your, if you're gonna go on the entry level, you'll you'll go with roof runner. Yeah. And then the the more like the high temperature, sure. the more luxury and higher end roofs, you'll go with the diamond deck. Right. Generally speaking, when we talk about roof underlayments and, and considerations, how can a builder like myself or anyone that's watching understand like when to use what product? Yeah, so if you're if you're not familiar, obviously you can reach out. Certainty has plenty of resources. You can go on our website, certainty.com find the underlayment section, we'll give you a technical sheet about what the actual specifications are. So maybe your job might require a certain spec that it has to meet. You can go on that website, pull up those tech data sheets, the cell sheets, we have brochures and everything like that. It'll give you all the actual fundamental details of each product line, and you can kind of tailor that to what the specs of your job require. If you're going in and you're just doing a standard, you know, residential yeah. house, more likely than not, you're probably gonna go with a Gray Select, sure. you're gonna go with a Roof Runner. But once you start getting into those higher temp markets, yeah. you'll go with Grace Ice of Water, go with Grace uh, HT or, or Gray Select. So, so say I don't wanna go on your website and I don't wanna read a bunch of documents and understand yeah. spec sheet. Do you guys have a technical team to help through this? We do, yeah. yeah. And so you can call our 1-800 number, we can get you in contact with somebody, reach out, um, you know, Monday through Friday, yeah. nine to five type deal, sure. yeah. give them a call, they will reach back out to you. We have a whole like inside sales team. So if you need specs for not only your underlayment, but you need technical specs for your asphalt shingles, or maybe you want to do siding and you have yeah. specs on that, that team can talk about all of those. One-stop shop for all of your building needs. Cool. Yeah, Frank, thank you Great. so much. Really Great appreciate man. it. Yes, sir. Guys, I think that the key here is really understanding that all of these companies are, are here to help support us as builders, as contractors. And when you're dealing with multiple products, it's even that's where the, the importance of having a good relationship with these vendors comes into play. You wanna be able to get on the phone with them and understand what product I should be using, when I should be using it, and how do I maintain warranty. So that's a wrap here in the Certain Team booth. Check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.